Open the front cover of the printer. Remove the drum unit. Press on the lever, and remove the toner cartridge. Look at the developer roller. Check if there are spots, dirty, or other defects on the roller. Rotate the roller. It may be very hard to move, use a screwdriver on the main gear. Make attention, not to damage the teeth of the gear. Rotate the roller only on this direction. In case of problems, clean the roller with a soft cloth. If there are vertical lines on the developer roller surface, maybe the blade is dirty, or there is toner built up along the edge of the blade. Take a thin cardboard, and insert it between the roller and the blade. Then, move it along the blade. It should remove all the toner built up, or the dust, causing the problem. Then turn by hand the developer roller, and clean it with a soft cloth. Brother toner cartridges do not have a chip, but they have a reset gear, that must be positioned properly. Each cartridge is different, with different reset gears. You'll find the proper reset position of the gear, searching in this channel, or with Google. Make attention, when you reset a used toner cartridge. When the printer senses a new toner cartridge, the bias voltage is set to a high voltage. Then, the voltage is gradually reduced, to keep the density level even, throughout its life. This process is necessary because a used toner cartridge has a tendency to print dark. So, if you reset a used toner cartridge, the printer will believe it's a new cartridge. The voltage will be set to a high voltage. So, there is the risk of light prints, or backgrounding. If the cartridge lose toner, check the mylar blade, that ride up against the toner roller. It prevent toner form falling out of the cartridge. If this blade is warped, worn out, with small pinholes, the cartridge will leak. Most of the time, the problem is the blade that is coming loose. Probably you'll have to disassemble the cartridge, and change the mylar blade. Clean the toner inside of the printer, with a soft cloth. Do not use compressed air, the powder could cause problems to the laser scanner. If you want to disassemble the cartridge, in this channel you'll find the instructions. All cartridges are different, with different instructions.